Hey, good day. You're listening to XFM with Tim Ross, and I'm Thomas from Villainy, and I endorse this man entirely. Villainy, an Auckland alternative rock band, have shared the stage with numerous local and international acts, including Incubus, The Offspring, Billy Talent, She Hard, and performed at Jim Beam Homegrown. Lucky enough to have uh, on the phone today lead guitarist Thomas. Welcome along to the show, Thomas. Okay, oh, thank you. It's great to be here. Being quite a new rock band to the New Zealand industry, who were your influences like? What do you rock out to when you're not on stage? Um, God, that's a good question. Um, I'm a big fan of a bunch of, um, a mixture of, I guess, rock bands and then, I guess, some surprising bands that are, are not rock bands. Like, my favourite act at the moment, I think, is probably actually an artist called St. Vincent, who oh, okay. um, basically plays kind of, I don't know, kind of like alt chamber dance pop. <laughs> quite a cinematic kind of way but everything uh, going on very then? exciting but I mean I think when you play in a rock band I think it's important not to just listen to rock music otherwise you end up just playing rock music that sounds just like rock music if that makes sense yeah yeah is that sort of like where the villainy sound come to because it is quite a unique sound yeah well, I mean I think that I think there's probably down to the fact that we're trying to um, push the envelope a little bit in terms of um, what can be uh, considered be rock music like yeah, bringing yeah. in influences from I don't know um, from I mean, we're everywhere. relatively mainstream rock act yeah. in the sense that we have you know your, your big choruses and, and, and your riffs and those kind of things but we, we try and um, you know hide little little easter eggs in our songs and those kind of things as well yeah yeah uh, yeah so you guys definitely being a rock band what sort of uh, rock and roll antics have you guys been up to like on tour and whatnot? because I saw you toured with like Devil Skin and Blacklist and Rival State those guys must be pretty intense to get along with outside <laughs> of the concert scenarios uh, yeah no we've had um, some uh, relatively uh, rock and roll time I mean uh, what's the most rock and roll thing we've done I mean, we grew up listening to The Blind Spot, like they were a relatively formative band when, yeah, um, yeah. when we were kind of young teenagers. We decided the best way to kind of make friends with them was after they posted their Snapchat details on, um, on Facebook. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we just uh, made a, a Villainy Music Snapchat account and uh, decided to start sending them pictures of our uh, uh, balls. <laughs> it would have been the best, though. Imagine just getting your phone. You, you have one new message from Villainy, picture of balls. <laughs> <laughs> So I was over in Australia and I actually heard you guys on one of the supermarkets. It was, it was quite funny actually because supermarket music is usually really crap. Um, what's the What was the biggest thing about breaking into the Australian market? We're basically slowly laying groundwork over there. It's a way different kettle of fish to New Zealand where, I mean, obviously it's a really big market. And so we made our album there for a start with, oh, okay. um, with Tom Larkin from the old She Yeah, yeah. Um, so he was a really good connection over there because he manages a bunch of bands. So knows various promoters and those show bookers and those kind of things. At the end of uh, last year, we went over to Australia, to Brisbane originally for, um, for Big Sound, but managed to um, make a... A tour off the uh, off the back of that as well, and so played played in Sydney, Melbourne, and then in um in Byron Bay, and yeah, I don't know in terms of, of breaking into the uh, that market, it's just it's a matter of going back there. You have got to keep touring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got to give people a reason to care and come to your shows. That um, latest single out, Ammunition, it, I reckon it sounds great. Are there um, plans in the future for a new album coming up soon? Oh, I'm, I'm glad you enjoy Ammunition. It's a good song. One, one of my um, my personal highlights was, because uh, it's off the album, which we released in 2011. Yeah, Mode Set. Uh, like yeah, in October. Yeah. But it got, it got Riff of the Year, which was a, a really great award. Yeah, not, yeah. Not just, like a, an official award, but I got a certificate somewhere, which was awesome. But especially for a Kiwi um, rock band, eh? But yeah, in terms of new album stuff, we're basically working on uh, on material now. When would that be due to drop? Cause basically you... whittling down all the various songs that we've um, come up with in the last kind of you know, two and a half years since we released Mode Set Clear. And basically trying to work out um, how to make them as awesome as possible. I think the plan is that we'll probably end up doing it um, in Melbourne, but it will definitely be out later this year. There will definitely be new music this year. Great, I'm really looking forward to it, eh? If you weren't in a band, what do you think you'd be up to right now? I think one of the um, common misconceptions is that when you're playing a band, it kind of takes over all of your time. I think in New Zealand, you kind of have to work other jobs to do that. And I'm, I'm quite happy uh, doing my other jobs as well. They're kind of a nice foil. So I am um, a, a video editor for the most part. I oh, work that's for, awesome. Um, Funny enough, I also teach at AUT University up in Auckland as part of the uh, the radio degree. So I teach um, third years how to uh, how to do radio interviews. Oh, nice. <laughs> oh, well, maybe I should have come along for that course, eh? <laughs> and also, uh, if you're on a desert island and you could take one album, one guitarist, and one actress, what would they be? 
Uh, all right, album-wise, I'd probably go for something like, I don't know, um, OK Computer by Radiohead. Oh, uh, yeah. That's quite a um, good formative album. Yeah, no, I really I mean, enjoyed that one. It's better to pick up an actual album rather than kind of picking a, um, you know, an anthology with five discs. I feel like that's coughing up, so I'm not going to do that. Yeah, going, yeah. Um, <laughs> Yeah. Favourite guitarist? Oh, that's, that's a difficult one. There's so many out there, eh? I'd, I would say um, probably Josh Homme. Josh Homme, uh, yeah. From the Stone Age. I think he'd be uh, good to hang out with, talk about guitars. If I was going to take two, I'd take uh, Annie Clark from St. Vincent. Oh, nice. She's a, she's a girl and she shreds like a mofo. What was the last one? An actress. An actress, yeah. Oh, shit, an actress. Uh, got to be someone out there that's, you know, uh, super stunning that you've had a bit of a childhood crush on. Actresses that I've got crushes on. Um, <laughs> Suzanne Paul count? I mean, she kind of acts. When she's selling you natural glow, I'd yeah. take her. I don't think, I think she'd be really great and wouldn't get annoying at all. That voice may <laughs> a little bit though. Hey, um, I'm going to be interviewing the Mal from Rival State soon because I'm from Taranaki myself. Is there any sort of background gossip might be able to have them on about when they eventually get on the line? It's all uh, pretty open. His Nick Nominate video because they're in um in London at the moment and he basically uh, filmed himself drinking beers, but he would also make a point of taking his pants off and all of them and wearing um underpants made out of uh out of uh, silver duct tape. Yeah, yeah. So he's drinking <laughs> drinking beers on the Tower Bridge with kids walking past, creeped out, just sculling beers at like 9 o'clock in the morning. And uh, the ending to that one's pretty epic as well with the chick with the box on her head. Yeah, 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 yeah totally. Then um, thank you very much for your time. It's been an absolute pleasure. And, um, yeah, so we're situated in Tauranga, so it'd be great to see you guys here again, eh? Yeah, awesome. Hey, thanks for having me. It's been great.